Here I'm Jay Rogers, the CEO and co-founder of Hattie. So Hattie has been producing furniture for a year and a half. We are a fast-growing, small company. I think for me, the thread of why we've gotten into furniture starts even before automotive. Um, my grandfather um, really was an industrialist and was into commodities, and uh, my father was a real estate developer. Uh, my grandfather also happened to be the owner of the Indian Motorcycle Company for a decade. And so, um, as much as automotive was in my heritage, um, manufacturing has been in my heritage. And so, by, by being in the automotive industry, I took a very uh, manufacturing intensive look at it, and that's what got me into the technology of 3D printing or additive technology. Hattie stands for heroic, agile, designed, durable, and yours. And for us, what that really means is it's bringing manufacturing back to cities all over the world, but especially in the United States, that's heroic. The agility comes from doing things like this. We dreamed it in a day, we printed it, that's agile. Designed, well, I think that answers the question. It came truly out of a design mind. And then durable is it'll last for 30, 40, 50 years and be recyclable, and yours, for our enterprise customers, we're an enterprise business. We sell to retailers and developers who sell and make furniture for individuals to use. We want it to work for everybody, people who mistreat the furniture, people who lovingly use the furniture, but it's, it's yours as you want it, and it'll eventually come back for our recyclability, but it will always be your use. For me, the most inspiring thing about Hattie is the approachability. Um, I'm sitting in Hattie Furniture, and this one is particularly designed for health clubs, and it is a rocking chair. Um, this is an occasional table. We have a little example of one of our new tables that goes up and down next to it. Everything I sit in, use, otherwise, can be made right here by the robots in this factory, and that is inspiring. So with our usage of robotics, by putting people at the edge in the design and in logistics and not in the middle in making furniture, it really means that we can begin to do a lights out manufacturing methodology of making furniture. From a single pane of glass, you can run eight robots, you can start prints, you can watch prints, you can get announcements when things are out of spec or in spec, and uh, that's exciting. Material science is really at the heart of what we do at Hattie, and I like to think of our materials broken into two families. There is the regenerative biosphere, and there is the circular technosphere. The circular technosphere is recycled water bottles and industrial plastics that are brought into pellets that we print with. This is a redwood tree design that we print up to about seven feet tall, and this is made out of brewer's spent grain. So this is the kind of thing that you find from the offtake from a brewery, a microbrewery or otherwise, and it smells just a little like the hint of beer, if you will. So we imagine with our regenerative biosphere line of materials that we can print things that can go back in the earth and really good for coffee shops and really good for breweries and bars and other things like that. So that's a little bit of the diversity of the color in the circular technosphere and the compostability in the uh, regenerative biosphere. Every piece of furniture that we print, like this table that is here, or this table that is here, has a minimal amount of scrap. Things like milling shavings, or a swipe square, which is something that we use when we start, or a test article in white, or a piece of extrudate that comes down. All of this is valuable material. So what we do is we take all of these scraps in our micro factory and we put them through our in-house recycler. And that in-house recycler returns to us bags of print-ready material. And so this print-ready material comes directly out of those scraps that I was just holding and can go right back in the machine for reliable printing for any product that we want to make in the future. In our engagement with Room and Board, they sent us a very simple, over the edge of the couch, C table occasional. It's a C. And originally, it was just the C. And it didn't even have a foot in the back right here. And so what ended up happening is it was tippy. And if a kid came up to the front and hit it, it would go back and roll back like a weeble wobble. And it really wasn't structurally that strong. So what we said is, without adding more material to make it stronger or changing the shape, first, why don't we add a foot in the back, which is what this is right here. So this foot provides stability from the table rolling back, so now it can't roll back, 
as easily as it did before. And then the next thing that we did is we added this rib. And this rib is a hollow section that only exists from here to here. It's solid here and solid here, but has air inside here. And for the engineers in the crowd, what that meant is it created a box structure in the most bendy part of the table, which gave it stiffness. So that meant when you stand on the table, it's now capable of holding up to 800 pounds. This piece is a planter. It's a street side planter. But what I want to say about it is really all these subtle things that most people don't get. It has a curve that mimics a wave or water, and the curve is different here, inset, and down here. And they wanted it to be different. They're putting 30 of them up, and they didn't want the same pattern on each one. They wanted the whole 30 to look like a wave. In traditional manufacturing, making it out of fiberglass, out of a mold, or roto molding, or other things like that, you would have had to build a mold for each one of these. With a digital file, we print each one of these to be different and we print them to be the weight that they need to be outside so that they stay in place. We can tune that weight up and down to an exact accuracy. So this is a great example of what 3D printing can do that your traditional stone, concrete, fiberglass, or plastic roto molding, or steel, or terracotta planner can't do. Makes it affordable, makes it designed, makes it fast, it makes it hatty. Heroic, agile, designed, durable, and yours.